What is going on gamers, Avatrix here and today we're gonna go ahead and double evolve the brand new hero, Rockno. Now, take a look at the ones that I got here, 8 of a Bulwark, 10 of 10 skill, and the crest set that I put on him is 5 of 5 life drain, just to see how he does. Now the first thing is first, we need to get him evolved, so the first thing that we have to do is uh, get his experience up, so let's go ahead and use some books. We use 66 of these books and 3 of these to get him all the way up to 200 because why not? Alright, let's go ahead and get him double evolved. Let's take a look at the stats. The HP, the HP basically doesn't even go down. Like, that's only a few thousand HP. So, that's it, quite interesting actually. The damage, okay. So, let's go ahead, use these 3 Rockno cards and rock this Rockno out. Get it? No? Okay. Anyways, let's get him evolved. We'll get those books back, but it doesn't really matter. We don't need those books. So there he is, double evolved. Now we will do some things that I do not suggest, but because I can, I will. Let's uh, let's go over to our main man, Ragno, over here. Go to earn some experience. Use a few books to get him to 100. Hit that upgrade button and use gems to buy gold. Yes. I do not recommend this at home don't do it on your account just letting you know do not copy what I'm saying hopefully that uh, that went through and people understand that you should not be doing this on your account but because this is fine in this account we will go ahead and do it let's go ahead and upgrade one more time and there we go 200 doubly buffed rock now 10 of 10 rhino rage 8 of a bulwark with Celestial Ward at level 1. At level 1? Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is that level 1? And why? Ooh. I got, a, got a lot of things to do here. Um, let's go ahead and use all of these. Get you all up to speed. And there we go. Level 6. Much. Much better. Now. Let's see what this man can do. Uh, I got to buy gold. Oh my god. All right. Um, this is actually a pretty decent test. Let's see. I want to see, uh, I want to see him clear this whole base, actually. This is what I want to see. Let's see you in action. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we saw him in action. There's a Skull Knight. Now, this will, oh, okay. Well, it's not an evolved Skull Knight, so there is that. But still, just seeing him being able to take all of that damage, considering that Skull Knight just gains so much damage, and, oh, my goodness. Here comes Dread Drake. Okay. Hmm. I can see a lot of um, a lot of places in Guild Wars specifically where you'd want to take down a wall to make an, an easier base, and um, that can that can come in handy. Now he is also an amazing tank, as you can already tell. Oh my God. That is that is insane damage. That is just insane damage. Look at this. He's just running through this like. Nobody's business. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Let me say hello. Wow! It's kind of crazy. Let's see how fast he can take these. Uh, fast. Okay. Um, I do. I do actually like the Rhino form once he's evolved. Um, I don't. I'm not a big fan of the Rhino form um, when he's not evolved. I don't. I don't know. It just. It doesn't look all that to me. But the evolved one does look good by the way i almost forgot to mention this take a look at the new layout i actually like this layout look the octopus is moving his eyes are moving you can see you can see things like underwater like look we have a ton of nemos look at this we have nemos everywhere uh we have bubbles my, bu my bubbles so i don't know i like this layout but i just i don't know um i don't know if it's worth the two i think it's 200 i guess that's that, that's up to the individual if it's worth it for them or if it's not, but um, it's it's actually not too bad. Alright, so one thing I do say about him is that since he is not immune to uh, to stun, he he becomes somewhat of a liability against like stun towers and whatnot. But one easy way to counter that would be um, um, Psycho Crest. Okay, so he's taking a beating here by uh, the Gunslingers, but he's he's keeping his health. His health is actually staying up fairly, fairly good. Well, okay. 
He actually survived all of that and he has full health. Well, that's that's actually really interesting. Hmm. Look at the walls. The walls the walls don't even stand a chance. They don't stand a chance. Oh my god. Now, like I was saying, um, when I first checked him out, um, I didn't really think that he was going to be that good. But now checking him out when he is at his best, like maxed out, he, he does seem rather strong. So there is that. Um, let's go ahead and do one more. Mm. And, the thing, and the thing about this is that I'm going up against single evolved heroes also. So there's that. Now... Here is a base that you can't really get to unless you break through the wall. So I want to see him actually do that. I want to see him break through the walls and take care of these uh, this fairy dragons. That's right. I still remember what fairy dragons are called. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so he just he just ran through the wall. And I'm pretty sure that's a maxed out wall. But he might have met his match here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he met his match here. Um, but he seems quite interesting. Um, let's see. So, eight of eight bulwark, I think, might be his best talent, or eight of eight stone skin, depending on what you're um going for. But I don't know. He he seems to be really interesting. Let me know what other kind of gameplay you guys want to see, and I'll go ahead and make sure to get that out for you guys. So I'll be checking out the comment section to see what you guys want to see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and until later, bye.